Imagine dining on a train in the middle of the ocean. Sounds interesting. Well, that will soon become a possibility on Royal Caribbean's newest ship. Local 10's cruise connoisseur, Darren Kelly, is joining us live from Fort oh. Miami with a closer look at what Utopia Station is all about. This sounds like fun. I cruise connoisseur. Yeah, we do now. How'd you get that job, Brent? <laughs> I like that title. I need to put that on my business card. There guys. you go. Uh, I'll work on that. But right. hey, <laughs> when it comes to unique dining concepts at seas, I got to tell you, there is nothing quite like what I'm about to show you. Let me be the first person to officially welcome you on board what's being called the Royal Railway. Now, this is essentially a full-size train mock-up that's been designed to look and feel like a moving train. The only catch here, though, is that this mock train is not going to be placed on land. Instead, it will actually be on board Royal Caribbean's latest ship, the Utopia of the Seas, which is now set to debut from Port Canaveral in just a couple of months. Now, what's really cool about this, guys, is that because this is an entirely new concept, Royal has built out this full-scale model here at their world headquarters at Port Miami, and we got a very special sneak peek at one of their rehearsals underway earlier. In addition to turning this into a dinner experience with actors and a special show, they're also testing out some of the new technology that will be placed on board. That includes putting ultra-high-definition video screens in place of windows and rumble strips underneath the seats here to make it look and feel like you're on a moving train. Now, the executive in charge of coming up with these new concepts told me earlier that for them, it was all about creating a memorable experience as the demand for cruising continues to soar post-COVID. The whole idea is you have to kind of suspend disbelief that you're getting on a train that's on a cruise ship that's at sea. And so once you kind of cross that threshold into the station, we want you to believe that you're on a train, right? And so in the platform, you'll see steam coming out of the train. As you get onto the train, you know, the windows are closed because we want you to feel like you're in the station ready to go. As the windows come up, you're off to the races and you're surrounded by kind of an immersive environment. And immersive it is. In addition to those rumble strips under the seats, there's also some cool lighting effects that they do, uh, some uh, sound effects. You can uh, sound the train horn if you want to. It really is a full experience. And in a way, it almost reminds me of merging a theme park ride with a sit-down restaurant, almost like something you'd find in Orlando, only this experience is going to be happening in the middle of the ocean. So coming up on the news at 530, we'll show you a little bit more of those special special rehearsals as they were going on earlier today as executives here continue to make those last minute tweaks before this new experience debuts in just a few short weeks. Uh, but I got to tell you guys, this really does feel like you're on a train. It's it, it's a little trippy almost. I know. I mean, it looks like it. You were watching the whole scenery go by right in your background. It's very cool. Don't work too hard, Trent. <laughs> No, no problem I'll there. I'll try. You know me, Louis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's so committed. I know. He really is. Thanks. What a great reporter. Thank Thanks. you, Trent. That was great. And